Shalom, I can first all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Kakwadash, Dabarant, and Muslim, such as I want to get a lesson on real quick based off Esau, man. Now, I think, no, basically, oh, this is true, bro. Knowing it's half the battle, you know, knowing who your enemy is, knowing, righteous, knowing righteousness is, and it's not, that's half the battle. Half is applying it and doing it. But the thing is, you gotta know who our enemy is, bro. Because he like these people will teach you like yeah you know just uh everyone's cool everyone's created equal everyone, God loves everybody says so this and that bro. But honestly, this scripture even proves it wrong, bro. There's one scripture even proves that wrong that the God not the most does not love everybody. He has a particular people and that is only Israel. He said he said I'll give the heathen as an inheritance. He said the heathen just is a drop as a bucket. They don't matter. The only thing matter is honestly just the. Israelites. That's what we get. That's what we get punished for when we go off, man. The gooks over there, they could eat bat. They could eat bat soup all day, and nothing will happen to them, man. <laughs> Be the lost section of covenants were not given unto them. They could do what. They could do what the fuck, bro. I'm gonna get this real quick. This is Romans nine and verse thirteen, and it reads, "As is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated." And that's where the most happen. He hates Esau, man. He despises Esau. And I ask, who's Esau? Like, oh, that's a good question, bro. Because honestly, if you ask, if you honestly ask these common people today, man, ask a regular Christian, bro, they won't. They won't even answer the question, man. It's like, yeah, Esau was a uh, person in the Book of Genesis, this and that. But he, it's, it's all gone now. But I'm gonna get this real quick, bro. <laughs> I'll start. I'm sorry. At Genesis 25 verse 23, and it reads, "And the Most High sent to." In fact, I'm sorry. Verse 21. And Isaac cheated for treated the Most High for his wife, because she was because she was barren, and the Most High was entreated of him, and Re and Rebecca, Rebe Rebecca had a, his wife conceive. And the children struggled together within her, and she, she, and she said, "If it be so, why am I thus?" And she went to inquire of the Most High. It's even the womb, bro. We're just, they're just struggling in and out, you know, battling each other, man. <laughs> and the Most High said to her, two nations are in thy womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels." Two different men and people, bro. Honestly, we're not, we're not the same. At the end of the day, we're not, the, we're not the same, man. Esau is not the same as Jacob, bro. They are both, they are both. Honestly, we're, 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 they're, they're both, they're Hebrew Edomite and we're Hebrew Israelite. But at the end, we're not the same, though, bro. Like this is, this clearly says right there. Two men or people should be separated from their bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And that's a future prophecy. They try to say that, oh, that proves that the so-called black state, they said the so-called Negroes, are the Edomites. It's like, no, man, that's a, it's a future prophecy. P future prophecy. That has still not yet to come yet. Verse twenty-four, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, they were twins in her womb. And it first came out all red. So it was red, man. It was... It looked like a white baby, bro. I don't even to see like, you know... Pictures of... Oh, uh, cracker eyes babies when they're born, man. But they look like this red as fuck. Because they, they, they got... They, they got a pigmentation. They're freshly out of the womb. All over... All over like a hairy, gar hairy garment. It was hairy, too. And at first came... Call and they call his name Esau. Now notice when it comes out and the second one comes out, it did not specify what it looks like because it just looks like every other person, man. Like you know, it's a regular Jake baby, bro. And after that came his brother, and sorry, and after that came his brother, his his brother out, and his took his, and he sucky. Like, yeah, I don't want him. I don't know why right now. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, 
and Isaac was three scores old when she bare them. Sorry, that's Jacob and Esau, bro. You know, they're both, they're both brothers. And Esau was born first. Another reason. At the end, bro, they they know what they knew what they're struggling for. They knew what they're fighting for. Even in the womb, they knew that. All right, this is what's happening. They know that God for the for the blessing. Now, just real quick. I'm gonna jump to real quick. So lucky. Yeah. Okay. Try to make sure the uh, everything's all sounds according, bro. Can you? I'll keep honestly. I'll keep. I'll keep, I'll keep going on real quick. And read in the and the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter. A man in the field, and Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, and Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob saw pottage, and Esau came out from the field, and he was faint. And he said, and Esau said to Jacob, said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. Because like I said, they knew what the birthright was for. They knew what... That was the whole point of the struggle in the womb. To make sure, alright, who comes out first to get the birthright? And he saw his brown forest. Like, alright, this is my chance. This, this is Jacob's like, alright, this is my chance to get the birthright now. <laughs> this, is what, this is what Esau says, though. Esau said, Behold, I am the on the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? So he was impatient. He was like, Oh, man, I'm just about to die. Like... You know, he's basically saying, man, fuck the birthright. He hadn't, he basically said, fuck the kingdom. I want, I'm hungry right now. That was basically, he said right now. That's basically what he said. Fuck the kingdom, I'm hungry right now. You can have it. <laughs> by the end of the day, he didn't, he didn't even mean it, bro. Esau didn't even mean it at the end of the day, but I keep going on, though. And Jacob said, spur to me this day. And he spurred unto them. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils, and they'd eat of this they'd eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So Esau despised his birthright. He's like he thought nothing of it. He thought just like, oh, this is a trading tool basically. And I'm gonna go to Genesis I'm gonna go to Genesis 27, start from the top and I read, and it came to pass. That when Isaac was old, his eyes were dim, so he could not see. He called Esau his eldest son, and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Here am I. Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, I am now. I am old. Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow. Go out to the field, and take me some venison. And make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I, may, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah said, heard Isaac spake unto Esau his son, and Esau went to the field for venison. He went to hunt for venison and to bring it. So he's thinking like, all right, I can still get this birthright that he already sold already. He didn't go to Jacob like, hey, this is your birthright. He asked me this, and I'm pretty, you know, now I'm going to receive the blessing. Here you go. He was like, all right. He tried to, try to basically screw over Jacob. Like, all right, I'm going to still get this birthright. Even though I sold it off, I'm going to still get it. That's real quick. And Rebecca spake unto Jacob. Suck it. And Rebecca heard when Isaac spake, spake to his son, spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the, field to hunt for venison and to bring it and break a speck unto Jacob her son saying behold I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother saying bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat 
and blessed thee before the day before the Most High, before my death. Now therefore, my son, according to obey my voice, that I may command thee. So basically, he's going to supplant Esau right now by taking his birthright. Which he basically was sold off to. But he's not really supplanting anybody. Here he, here he has a blessing. All he needs is taken now. So basically, at the end, Jacob had the blessing. <laughs> and Esau didn't get it. But I'm going to jump to Genesis um, 32 real quick. And reason Isaac, his father, said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, who, where is he that hath taken venison and brought it, and brought it me, and have eaten of all there, all before thou camest and blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. And Esau heard the words of his father and cried. He cried, a, with a great and exceed, exceeding bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, my even also my father. So basically, he's just crying like this. He's wailing out like a child. And, read, and he said, Thy brother came with subtility and hath taken away thy blessing. He said, is, not, is he not rightfully named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. And behold, now he took away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? So even though he did like, he's like, oh, I got, I sold my blessing, but I still want my blessing back. He's just trying to show, like, trying to like, he's trying to have everything, bro. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Before, behold, I made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given, given to him for servants, which corn and wine have I sustained him? And what shall I do now unto thee, my my son? Like, all right, I gave him everything. Like, what do you want? Like, what what do you like? What do you want now? I, it's what it was over. It's whatever. Esau sent his father. Hast thou but one blessing? Oh, my father, bless me. You me also. Oh, my father. And Esau lift up his voice and wept. <sighs> So you're like, alright, he's like, he's just like crying, crying, like, like, you sure you don't have one for me? You sure to, like, you just crying like a bitch, bro, honestly. And Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, behold, it's like, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and the dew of heaven from above. And thy sword shall thou live, and, thy, and shall thy serve thy brother, and shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, thou sh that thou shalt break his yoke from often. Off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob of the blessing where his father blessed him. And Esau still hates this, bro. Even since he has a perpetual hate hatred against Jacob. So don't trust these Edomites, bro. These Edomites are so, are the so called white men that we see today. They read back in Genesis 25, bro. And Esau, and Mosai hates, hates Esau, bro. He hates him, man. They do, not trust, do not trust these so called white people, bro. And I said, like, real quick, not all white people are Edomites. You have Edomites that look like other nations. Thakim, Kafal, praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Kadash, and I was like, Shalom.